Hi, welcome to the Backhaul Lounge. I'm Dalit Breen and I'm joined by my colleague Adi Kunle Adibisi, who is the Director Key Account MTN and Professional Services for Africa and APAC. Now, operators are faced with the problem of having to roll out um, 5G, increase capacity and often opt for larger equipment. Now, Kunle, can you tell us from your experience in the field why this poses a huge problem for operators and what we can do to help alleviate the problem of tower on wireless infrastructure? Uh, thanks, Dalit. So, first thing is, when we, what we see uh, traditionally with operators is that they, they generally are looking at how to reduce the cost uh, of their operations. And there's two types of them. There's operators who typically own their own towers and the infrastructure, and, and there's operators who lease these services. And the key elements uh, are space on the tower, the weight of what you put on the tower, and uh, the power that you provide in the, in the indoor units. So they, they, they look at these things uh, generally and say, how do I reduce these costs of all of So that's this? a great question. So how can we? Yes, so, so first off, um, what we do is we look at those three elements specifically. So when you talk about the antennas, we, we have super high power radios, first of all, that allows you to use lower uh, size of antenna, which reduces the tower load. Extremely critical because of the densification that comes along with 5G. There could, there's going to be so many sites and we need to, the, the operators need to be able to utilize their infrastructure for as many sites as possible that they want to fulfill. Right, and the smaller the equipment on the tower, that means the more sites they can roll out because we've come across cases where the towers were totally overcrowded and they couldn't actually roll out more links, right? Yeah, it's prime commodity when you put on the towers there, when you put the towers out there, you want to be able to use them as much as possible. And how we help them is to allow them to use smaller size antennas as much as possible. On top of that, we also have uh, the radios which are lower in weight compared to most of the competition. So you've got the, 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 the savings on the antenna, lower size antennas, uh, and then you've got the lower kilograms for the actual radios that go on the towers. So those are the major elements uh, from the tower loading perspective. When you go into the infrastructure, there's more, because then you look at how much power do you consume inside of the, inside of the, uh, the, the, the shelters. So what we do is we also have the Cerebon radios have lower power consumption. So, because these guys pay, um, they pay per kilowatt hour for the power that is in, in, the, in the size. Even if you own the size, you want to make sure that you can leverage and use as much more uh, for other radios or other equipment that is needed. Okay, so let's, let's go back for a second to the, to the number of, of, of radios and antennas on the tower. Now, you, you did mention that there's a difference between those operators who own the towers and those who rent. Now, those who rent will have to pay rental fees, right? So, so they're interested in, in reducing those tower rents. Now, what can we do to help them put less equipment on the tower while enabling them to have as, as much capacity as they can to provide those 5G services to their customers? So uh, on top of what I just described regarding how we help them to have uh, this smaller footprint on their infrastructure, we are also able to use the dual core in terms of putting the radios out there and being able to have the capacity they need without having to increase any of the infrastructure footprint. And this is important uh, as well when they look at the overall uh, uh, tower and infrastructure required to put out the radios. Okay, now can you tell us a bit about our ASD function that, you know, brings about huge savings in terms of tower load and weight? So the ASD is a game changer, Dallas. What happens with that is we're, we're now using, uh, traditionally, the four antennas are required for space diversity. With Cerebon's advanced space diversity, we have three antennas instead of four. That is massive. So you look wow. at 25% reduction. 25% of CapEx and OPEX. Wow. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, this great. is a game changer in the industry. I, uh, it's, we see that resonating a lot with our customers. Okay, so what we're saying is that operators must provide more capacity in order to be part of the 5G race. And the bigger is not the better in, in the case of tower load. So thank you so much for giving us this insight. This is the Becker Lounge. See you next time.